sometimes you just have a terribly long chain of issues. So here you can see some corrosion, right? This comes from the place where the nozzle, the rudder, is mounted to the hull, which means A, that something there isn't as stainless as it's supposed to be, and there's water in there somewhere, which means there's probably uh, something broken in the fiberglass. Which means I need to unmount the nozzle. To unmount the nozzle, I need to take out the prop shaft. But if I take out the prop shaft, it will be very difficult to take off the prop afterwards because I have nothing to fix it against. Which means I first need to check if the prop is okay so that I know that I don't have to replace or um, maintain it. Which means job one now is to sand down and check the prop. Step two is if the prop is okay to take off the prop shaft then start disassembling the rudder. If the prop is not okay, then take the prop off first and get that fixed, and then do the other stuff. Let's go. To start with, I'll use this abrasive material. Um, first by hand to try out how well it works on the prop, and then using a drill which should be faster. Good news, the propeller looks great. No cracks there. Uh, we definitely need a, an anode um, to prevent further corrosion when it's back in the water. But other than that, it's perfectly fine and it can stay on so we can remove it together with the prop shaft. I'm in the port side engine room. Here you can see the prop shaft and attached to the prop shaft there is this flex clutch. So it has a couple screws here that need to be loosened in order to take off the flex clutch and that's the only way to get the prop shaft out through that little hole there. And these screws have been comfortable and sitting and rusting in here for quite a while. So task number one is try out a couple different anti-rust things and see which one will work and help me get these screws out. First of all, I'm using two types of rust removing spray that will creep into the small cracks. Then I'm cleaning everything off um, with a bit of acetone to then use a uh, special type of rust removing gel that basically forms a, a layer on top of these screws and will hopefully help a bit more uh, just as a uh, matter of caution. Now that we've done everything we could to protect the screws by removing all the rust, there's only brute force left that we can use. As you can see in the little picture in picture here, we've put a small piece of wood between the propeller and its mount so that the prop shaft is blocked and we can start loosening the screws without turning the prop shaft all the time. To get the flex clutch off the hub, there are some screw holes that are normally not used that you can basically use to push it off the hub and that worked quite well so we were able to push off the clutch uh, quite easily but then getting the hub off itself was uh, a bit more difficult uh, fortunately the harbor master had a specialized tool that serves just this purpose and with that, uh, we got it off in a couple minutes. Ta-da! And with that thing off, we were finally able to go outside and take out the prop shaft.
And once again, because it was so much fun, because I own a catamaran, and because we had to, we went over to the starboard side and did the exact same procedure again, which I'll speed up a bit more in here. In order to remove the nozzle after removing the prop shaft, we had to partially dismantle the rudder uh, where the special tool came in very handy again and that way we were able to take them off and finally finish this task. That's everything for today. I'll leave you with a quick clip of how the nozzle looks now that it's unmounted. So please subscribe, please come back later for part two of this video where I'll go over the damage and how we're gonna fix it and get this thing reassembled as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you next time.